What's up everybody, my name is Didi Entertainment here and welcome back to another Mount Ultimate Team video. Today we are going with another episode of the No Money Spent series. I believe this is episode number 5. Episode number 5, and we got to level 10 which gives us an 86 overall NAT Rookie Premier Fantasy Pack which is really going to boost up our team. And uh, we're, we're going to decide who we want to go to. We looked at the team, right? We have Terry McLaurin, Deshaun Jackson, and Roy Williams. So we got speed on the wide receiver sets. My thing is... Like, Jamar Chase has 91 speed, and, like, he's just really good. But then Kyle Pitts, like, I have his regular rookie card, and he, I mean, he's already a beast. Like, the regular rookie, uh, Kyle Pitts, is already a monster. Now, my thing is, should we go with a cornerback, J.C. Horn, and a cornerback, or, or a free safety, Trevon Moore? Because we already got Brian Dawkins. We already have Brian Dawkins. But the thing with that is, uh, we could put Trevon Moreg playing on the other safety side. But that one's a tough one because we have J.C. Jackson. Let's take a look at our team right now. We have J.C. Jackson. We have Joe Hayden. And then who was the other one? Who was the... Oh, Dante Jackson, right? So this is our offense. Got our running back set. We got our wide receivers, right? We got speed. And Kyle Pitts is only down. So we could upgrade him to the, the elite version of Kyle Pitts. Or we could lean towards more helping out our corners. Because like, like I said, Joe Hayden is not an outside corner. He is not. Dante Jackson and J.C. Jackson have taken that spot for right now. But J.C. Jackson isn't the fastest as, as is right now. And then with the safeties, I mean, we do need some safety help. We only got Cam Chancellor and Jordan Fuller. And it does seem like we could use some safety help. So I'm thinking we might pick up Trevon Morig. And he'll definitely boost up our secondary. Uh, yeah, I'm going to lean more towards Trevon Morig. So that's going to be our pick for the Rookie Fantasy. 86 overall NAT Rookie Fantasy pack right there. We're going to pick up Trevon Morig right there. 86 overall. He's got 90 speed, I believe. He has nice speed. That's the reason why I want to pick him up because he has 90 overall speed. He's pretty fast for like a lot of the safeties out there. Let's see. He has 90 speed, right? Yeah, 90 speed. Faster than Brian Dawkins. So I'm definitely going to pick up Trevon Morig just because he has that speed. And, you know, speed helps out in this game so much. We're going to go with Trevon Morig as the NAT Fantasy Rookie Premier card. And we're going to start him on the other side of the safety position. And, yeah, that's going to be the upgrade for the team so far. Nothing really else. We're just going to get that big upgrade for the uh, from the Rookie Premier uh, pack. Besides that, we're going to keep the team the same. Pretty much everything the same. Really not much of a difference. But besides that, yeah, we added Trevon Morig right here. We're going to put him on this spot. There we go. We'll put him for this position. Trevon Morig. Can he go into specialist? Can he play in the box? I don't think so, right? It'll be just Bobby Wagner and Cam Chancellor. Yeah, correct. Okay, so we, we can't put any strong safeties there, but we could... I mean, we can't put any free safeties there. We could put strong safeties, but, I mean, yeah, we don't have anything like that as of, as is right now. But we're going to... Basically, that's the only upgrade we're going to make right now, guys. That's the only upgrade we're going to make. We're going to jump into a match, but before we do, remember to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more Mount Ultimate Team content, guys. Really, it's up with the channel, and I really do appreciate it. So, let's jump into a match. You guys know the squad. We got our wide receivers right there. Roy Williams, if you missed the last episode. We got Brian Dawkins, of course, from that other NAT pack. And our defense is looking pretty solid. So, uh, yeah, we're going to jump into a match and see how things go. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to be going up against Sensei Al. So, you can see his top three. He's got Nick Bosa, Lance Oliver, and Patrick Mahomes. Definitely got to watch out for Nick Bosa. But our top three right there, Terry McLaurin, Dante Jackson, and Sean Alexander. We got some speed on our defense. We got some speed on our offense. We should be fine. Everything should be good. So, are we going to get the ball? We are going to get the ball first. Let's make some big-time plays and see if we can do anything crazy. Let's try to get Roy Williams more involved in this game because the last game we had with him, he didn't really do much. So, let's try and give him the ball as often as possible. We probably won't try and force it, but we do want to um, give him the ball as often. All right. Roy Williams is running a post route. Is he playing cover two? Yeah, he is. Oh, we got all this space right here. Justin Fields has all this space. We're going to take it. We're going to pick up the first down right there. We could have probably hit one of the drags, but I was like straight up eyeing Roy Williams too much. I definitely have to be patient with that. I can't force it to Roy Williams if he isn't open. I just can't give it to him. Does he have insight? Okay, he does not have inside stuff right there. Sean Alexander. Oh my gosh, he got destroyed. Who the heck was that? We tried to truck and he just got totaled right there. Ooh, he is pressing Nah, let's keep it like that right now. Got all this space once again, Justin Fields. And we're going to slide down. We're not going to risk a fumble. 
He's just gonna give us all that space. We're gonna take it. We'll see how things turn out. Oh, Sean Alexander wide open right there. Oh, yeah. No way he gets brought down by Deion Sanders right there. Good stuff, Sean. All right, let's go with the little inside switch. We gotta go for it, man. We have to try and do something here. Let's see if we do manage to do something. Hopefully we do. See how things turn out. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Justin Fields, he gets in the end zone. That's what I'm talking about. Justin Fields basically carried this whole team on this whole drive right there. That ability, that speed, Justin Fields is amazing right now. That's definitely why you pick him up right there. Incredible. Just incredible. Bro, is he literally one of those people that's just going to run the ball the whole time? Like, on offense? Like, literally, you're that type of person. And I completely fail right there. And I completely fell right there. And that is my fault because I fell. And he's going to take it out of the house. Oh, my gosh. That is my fault because I keep hit sticking. I keep hit sticking. Right, let's see if we can go down the middle with Deshaun Jackson or Kyle Pitts. If now we're going to hit the curls. I mean, might be possible. We'll see how things turn out. Oh, we got Kyle Pitts. We definitely got Kyle Pitts down the middle. Let's go. Beautiful stuff right there. Boom, right there. We got Deshaun Jackson wide open right there. Toe drag swag. Easy stuff right there. Easy stuff. All right, let's go with the little play action. Let's see if he bites on it. We got the space. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a touch right there. Deshaun Jackson. Like I said, Justin Fields is just on the money. That ability to come out on the run with uh, Justin Fields is just incredible because our opponent gets so scared. And Deshaun Jackson was just wide open on that. Our opponent cannot keep up with him right there. Oh my gosh, and I missed. I missed. Oh my gosh. Of course, of course something bad happens. Of course. He gets wide open right there. Bring him down. Brian Dawkins. I'm sorry you guys have to suffer through this. And like, this guy was literally running I form close the whole time. It must have been so annoying for you guys. Okay. Get the tackle. All right, nice, nice. Finally did something else than just running the same I-form power O. But he's going back to strong close, so, I mean, it doesn't even matter. It's going to be the same concept. Let's just see. Let's see how this goes. It's motioning. A little slants. Okay. He, went to, he straight up went to Kittle right there. Oh, Joe Hayden. Big time play by Joe Hayden. Let's go. Are we going to be able to pick six this? Oh, yeah. We're going to pick six this. Joe Hayden. Superstar KO Joe Hayden is going to take it for a pick six. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Beautiful. That really was something we really needed right there. Here we go again. He's going to run that power. Oh, oh, no. Play a little play action. little play action. Goes to his running back, David Johnson. All right. Bring him down. Bring him down. Some good things here. We know he's going to try and run crossers right here for against us. Oh, good stuff. We need Whitney Merciless. You need to play the outside more. But it's difficult because our linebackers don't really play that. Watch the underneath stuff. Straight up went to David Johnson. Get the tackle, Wagner. I give him props. He's playing some good deep. I mean, offense. He's making some good reads. He's beating our coverage. Bobby Wagner right there. I read that the whole way. Bobby Wagner makes a big time play. Let's go, defense. And that's it. Our opponent's done. He's had enough. He couldn't take it. It's GG for our opponent. Good stuff by our defense. Our defense basically brought us back in this game and basically won it all for us. Our offense was solid, didn't have any trouble moving the ball, but just our defense was able to shut them out. And that's something hard in this new Madden. So that was a great game. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. Remember to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more of my Ultimate Team content, guys. It really does help the channel, and I really do appreciate it. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the next No Money Spent episode. Peace out.